My name is Nosira McGarrick and I am the producer and director of My Africa Is. So I'm a Nigerian filmmaker and so I wanted to create a series and this idea of My Africa Is, which is showing the world a different side of the African continent, um, one that I knew that was not reflected in media. I started out shooting whenever I got a chance to travel back home um, and so it, it built up as a web series um, and now we're getting ready to take it to TV. We wanted to explore tech specifically because what people haven't realized is how revolutionary Kenya has been in the tech scene globally, um, from starting mobile money to starting crisis mapping through Ushahidi. Um, and these different elements have actually influenced the way people do business around the world, the way individuals hold elections around the world. And we thought it was really important to highlight Nairobi as a city that is full of innovation. And so it's that idea of showing the unexpected and, and, and giving you a sense of the African continent that you aren't typically used to. When individuals think about the African diaspora around the world, I think they associate it very generally with this idea of a, a brain drain of individuals who have a capacity to build up the African continent and leave to get educations elsewhere and never go back, when actually um, a lot of us who do leave are, remain super connected because we still have family there, our parents are still there, we tend to go home quite often. And so what you're seeing happen now is that individuals are moving back because they see opportunities to start things. And that's, that's the Africa that I know. We have governments that don't necessarily provide us with some kind of welfare in case that you're, you're under and you need some kind of support. It's very do-it-yourself and we are usually responsible for providing our own infrastructure. And that, I think, has spurred this entrepreneurial spirit within a lot of Africans. They identify problems and there is not a fear about coming up with a business model or some kind of social innovation to address those issues. And the Africa I know is, is, is one that is changing, that's growing, that's booming, that is filled with lots of issues that need to be resolved. But what I see are individuals with the resolve to fix those problems. The footage that you will see may mislead you into thinking there aren't a lot of women <laughs> in Nairobi, but there are lots of powerful, awesome women. We just happen to not focus on those stories. Every time I interact with African women, they're extremely powerful. Beyond the film industry, African women run things, and that's something that people should know. I'm excited to see the impact that this series has. I would like individuals to understand that the African continent is made up of countries and cities and individuals that can be self-sustained and do have solutions to their own issues. These cities are living, breathing organisms and how they're so different from one another and, and probably one of the most diverse places in the world. And I, I want the fear or the idea of saving the African continent to, to go away and start to see the African continent as a continent of individuals and not just victims. I'm very excited to have My Africa Is be a part of Afropop. It's an honor to be a part of the MBPC family, period. Um, and, and being a part of Afropop is just the icing on the cake. <laughs>